Hi, today we are going to see about GeoPhoenix GP3D wire type. That means a rod type. We can we can use this rod minimum of two meter and the maximum of ten meter distance. Already we have seen many videos GP3D wireless. We we have uploaded many videos regarding that. Now today we are going to see about how to use this rod type and how we we will get the data using this machine we can we can generate the report in mobile as well as tab as well as laptop if you are come uh, if you are connecting with any of the gadget you can get the report here in the box they have given uh, two cables the maximum of five to six meters and the electrical rods and the connectors we will see now how we will connect the rod with the wire the same way how to follow while you are connecting while you are using this mechanism in this box they have given a power adapter and a warranty card on the cable and the power bank power bank for emergency purpose you can charge the unit directly now we will see how to connect and they have given you can generate a report in tab as well as mobile or laptop which is convenient to you you can use any of the gadget now we will see how to how to take the survey report and how it is functioning now we are going to survey a maximum length of 10 meters We kept the rod the maximum of 10 meter and we will start the survey. We have measuring the measuring meter and we are measuring the length of 10 meter and we uh, we need two different rods with a gap of 10 meter. as much you can you can push the rod to the ground this is the control unit which controls both the rods and connect transmitting and receiving the data and it collects all the things when we switch on the machine it start controlling it, it, it control it gives the complete sound after the initialization stage we can give the command through the tab here they have given uh, and an Android app which you can control the unit. Now we are going to connect the device with the help of wireless. Now we will go to the application. In this application you can set the range. The front range the minimum of minimum 2 meter and maximum 10 meter you can keep and you can start the survey. And here they have given an advantages of setting the depth range. Depth range you can set the depth of different areas here now i am giving 175 which is the local area condition depth once i press the scan the machine will continuously continuously taking the survey and gives the sound accordingly This mechanism is mechanism is fully based upon the frequency. This is a dual mode operation, geomagnetism and earth resistivity.
for this surveying it will take 5 to 10 minutes with the maximum uh, limit the maximum duration will be 5 to 10 minutes once this scan is fully completed it gives the complete sound the maximum long beep it will con uh, continuously it continuously give you a long beep so we can generate the report in mobile tab or whatever laptop we can generate the report with the help of that application Now the machine is the scanning is totally uh, completed. Once the this sound will will stop, we can generate the report. Let's we wait until the sound stops. Now the sound is totally stopped. So we will see how to generate. In this application, there will be three dot. Press the three dot and go to the report. In the report you can set the range there will be a refresh button if you are refreshing the complete data will come will come to the tab here you can set the h range means horizontal range the distance between the two rods and fill the surveyor name and the client name give any numerical number to identify the point here i am giving a name and the surveyor name and I save the data data inserted so now I have confirmed the data is been is been saved in the device in this application now you can disconnect with the device or you can close the connection of Wi-Fi now you can start the internet now you record the internet to upload the data to the cloud server here here is the survey data now i am pressing that you have to check all the parameters now go to the upload button there will be a red button you can press that so the data will send you to the this uh, satellite server once the data is been reached there here there will be notification report file ready now you can press the green button the data is downloaded here now i go to the download folder okay, now i am extracting the file this file you can see a depth versus frequency depends upon the frequency where it hits up to the maximum depth and the lowest range as well as highest frequency where it hits we can see in the flow chart here is a 3d map you can rotate in a laptop you can rotate here they have given a surface versus depth versus frequency where it hit, hits with the, the depth and this uh, frequency now i'm going to the complete report here where everything will comes here 3d view 2d view 2d view the the, the the distance 1 to 10 meter here they have given if you are elaborating you can see you can see the uh, point clearly here uh, i can see the uh, blue shade the permeable rock from the uh, from the rod there will be a rod and the other side will be rod from the a rod you can calculate the distance of five meter there will be a blue shade blue shade means permeable rock is there the possible of holding the uh, water and where here is the hardness of the rock lowest to low to high and the depth this is a lat long profile the coordination profile 
and the next one is depth versus frequency we have seen already here is the complete report the survey total complete survey report customer name survey name the lat long coordination after that surface type everything everything will be here the source one source two source three after source five and the total bht total borehole dia after that here you can see the rock strength analysis the water quantum water quality and salinity and permeability if you are confirming the point you have to compare this survey data with the parameter which